Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is night 900. I'm joking guys, it's night 851. Yes, we're getting close to 900 though, that is for sure. Very, very close, and then we'll be up to night 1000 of dumpster diving. But with that out of the way guys, tonight, there is a cool little bendy and the ink machine box. It's just a cool little box. I found this tonight as well as two mystery bags. Just like last night, I found two mystery bags as well. But I did also find that kiosk thing in Majiggy, which is really, really weird. So what I got from all of you guys in the comments, as well as what I could find out information about what that thing was, is that last night what I ended up finding was part of a DS or 3DS kind of kiosk, which is really, really cool. So, uh... Just very interesting. And also, if you guys did not follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of it working. Yes, the little light thing of a jiggy on it. It was an LED light. It was really cool. So make sure you guys go check out my Instagram link in the description below, as well as my Twitter, because I tweet every single time I post a brand new video. And with that being said, let's get into tonight's dumpster dive. So here we go. We got the Bendy and the Ink Machine box, which it does come out, I believe. Yeah, most of these boxes do comes up like that and it folds back down. I think, I don't know why they do that, but I guess so this can pop up and it kind of pokes out a little bit. It's kind of cool. It's a cool little box. I guess you would collect all eight of the collectioneer little ink bottles. That's kind of cool actually. I mean, hey, the ink, you know, it's kind of cool. That's actually pretty cool. And then back there on the side again, I'm actually probably gonna keep it just cause it's kind of a cool little box. And then let's see which bag. Is a heavier bag for tonight. Eh, it's kind of light. Oh, this one's got the stretch marks. This one's, you can hear that thud too, maybe. That, ooh, what's in this bag? There's definitely something in there that made that thud. Hopefully I'm not breaking whatever it or it, other things, maybe there's more than one thing, but whatever is in this bag, hopefully I'm not breaking it by doing that. Obviously we gotta get into the heavier bag first. So let's get into thy bag. And for everybody who enjoys the videos and watches the videos and likes them and comments and subscribes, thank you guys so, so much for watching recently. I've just been, I don't know, I just, I love making these videos and I love seeing the reactions in the comment section as well as just knowing that some of these videos just really inspire people and I get comments and things like that of you guys really enjoying them and I just love you guys so, so much. The reason I still do YouTube and I still dumpster dive is because of all the major, major support. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have kept going on, but I'm still going strong because I love everyone who watches the videos and just thank you so, so much. And let's get into the bag. Enough of this sympathy sounding material, but I truly mean it when I say it, I genuinely mean it. Let's see what we have here. We have whatever that is. What is that? Take your guesses. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Um, I don't know. Some of this garbage out from around it. What are you? It's kind of heavy. What is it? Okay, that's dust. That's really dusty. Wow. That is a crazy amount of dust. Look at that. Ooh, that is... Eh, eh, eh. That is so dusty. What is this? <laughs> oh, it's got a handle. What? What are you? It's a data systems. Data, data, however you say it, but data systems? Handle? Oh. Ooh. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is old if I know what this is. Like, not like crazy old, but I think, look at that dust though. That's supposed to be like straight up shine and that is dust covered. That right there, I believe is an ink roller that spreads in, how ironic. We got Bendy the Ink Machine box and I believe this is supposed to be for, I'm not sure because I never actually have used one of these ever in my life, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be for maybe receipts or maybe like you put your credit card on this and they would roll over a piece of paper and it would get like their, your information off your credit card or something, something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure what it is because I've never actually like used one before, but uh, that I, it could be for your credit card maybe. Like you put like the credit card, you slide it up to these points and you put a piece of paper over, you go down and this lever should in reality bend so it pulls that thing, which it does. There we go, yep. And if I do that, and if you guys can maybe see, whoa, that was not supposed to happen. Let me hold that down with my, my leg here. Uh, that little, eh, eh, I can't do this, this is so hard. 
Yeah. See, it's moving a little bit. You see that little ink roller? Yeah, it's moving now. That is supposed to, I believe, go over whatever is right here. That's actually pretty cool. I've never actually like used one of these before. I have seen things like this in the past, but I've never actually used one. It doesn't even, I don't even know what it says on the bottom there. But uh, freaking cool. That's a really random find. Why GameStop has that? No idea. But <laughs> definitely a very strange find. Maybe they're still in like the olden days. I don't know. Ooh, got a gift card back here. PlayStation Store $25 gift card. Does it work? Oh, hey, it's been, ooh. It's been scratched. But if you can read that, you can have it. I don't know what those last like four digits are or whatever the last digits are. If you can read that and if you can figure it out, that most likely works because only uh, only because it's been like kind of mauled a little bit. <laughs> it may work, I have no idea. Not guaranteeing it, but if you can figure it out, it's all yours. Little metal hanger, I really don't use these. A lot of people, a lot of you guys actually told me I should use these to hang my lanyards, but I would need, I don't have one of those boards that you can like slide these into to hang these off of. So I'd have to like makeshift something, which I haven't done. So I could do that in reality because I do find a lot of these metal hangers, but they're not long enough to hang all my lanyards. That's the only thing. I'd need like a hundred or like 200 of these to hang all my lanyards. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a cool idea. Thank you guys for giving me ideas on that, by the way, but I just, I probably won't do that. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I do have a really cool like metal thing that I have found in the past that I do hang my lanyards off of at the moment, but uh, I can't hang all my lanyards. I have so many lanyards. It's beyond crazy. Here's an old GameStop trade credit gift card. When's the last time you've seen one of these? That is old. I think it's old. It looks old. Does it have a date on it? I'm trying to look for a date here. I don't see a date, but uh, that just looks old. I'm I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> it may have some trade credit money on there. You never know. Pennies? Any pennies? Nope, no pennies. You never know if there's any pennies left. That's a paper clip. I think that is it for bag number one. I'm guessing majority of the weight is this thing because that thing is pretty heavy. It is metal and plastic, but that's pretty dang cool. I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we have in bag number dos. Oh, it's a case right away. See in a case. It's always a good sign. We have the labyrinth. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if it's in there. Ah, uh, empty DS case. Find a lot of these. A lot of DS cases. Haven't found a Wii stand in quite some time. I used to find Wii stands like candy for the longest time, but now I've been finding a lot of DS cases like candy. So, yeah. Ooh, that's not heavy though. Ooh, it's actually really heavy. Uh, probably just the manuals. Maybe there's a game inside though. Kirby Squeak Squad. It literally says Squeak Squad. <laughs> that is epic. Squeak Squad, Rubber Band Squad. That is, okay, that's funny. Uh, no, Squeak Squad's not in there. Squeak Squad. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool though. Squeak Squad. Just makes me want to say it. Ooh, I think I see another case right there as well. I really thought this was gonna be a ghost. Like there was gonna be two black eyes on it. Like, ooh, I'm a ghost. I don't know why, I think just cause of the cutout. But any game in here? Nope, no games in there. Oh no, it's just a sleeve and manual it looks like. We have a sleeve for Just Dance 2015 for the PS3. Which is a little ripped in the corner, but not too bad, a little folded in the back. Definitely gonna keep that in case I find that game, I have the sleeve for it. And this looks like it's the manual. Which way is the right way to hold this? I think this way. Okay, this way. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not too bad of a find. Ooh. Okay, that's just chocolate. I was like, that does not look good. But that looks like it's Reese's. Yeah, it's like a Reese's peanut butter cup or something. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, we got something. Ooh, this is awesome. Whatever it is. It's definitely... Oh, it's another Overwatch keychain. What? I've literally been finding these like a lot lately. That is awesome. That is, I don't know who it is because I've never played Overwatch, but that is freaking cool. I know it's Overwatch because of that right there. That's the symbol from Overwatch. And it's a little keychain. See the little, ah, oh, it's so cool. I don't know who it is. If anyone knows who this character is, please let me know in the comment section below. I've just never played, I never played. I, <laughs> I literally just said I've never played. I've never played Overwatch. So I know a lot of you are gonna cringe over that, but it doesn't matter because 
that that is freaking cool. Overwatch does look like a good game, but I feel like if I start playing Overwatch now, I'm gonna get way too addicted to it that I'll never wanna play any other game but probably Overwatch. And I don't want that happening. So I'm gonna continue just like not, I don't even really play too many games anymore, but I will be playing Modern Warfare when that comes out October 25th, 100%. I'm excited for that. Oh, a broken rubber band. Let's see what else is in this bag. Come on, something good, something good. Broken rubber band again. I think that's gonna be it. I'm not seeing much else, but that keychain. I'm gonna be honest, I think my favorite find is the keychain tonight. That's probably my second favorite, but I really, I think it's for credit cards. Like you swipe over it or it's like for receipts or something, something along those lines. If anyone knows what this is and what that name of this character is, let me know in the comment section, but I'm going to wrap up tonight's episode. Got a couple DS cases, some sleeves and manuals, an old trade credit gift card, which is pretty cool. A bendy and the ink machine little box kind of cool thing. I don't know. You can just put random things in there. Like I can put these DS cases in there. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> With that being said, guys, I will be leaving the last recently uploaded video in this corner. Make sure you check out my rubber band squad and speedy cat merchandise over here. The speedy gamer channel, which I will be playing modern warfare. Rem oh, not remastered modern warfare. The new modern warfare, October 25th on the gaming channel, maybe the 25th or the 26th. Not sure yet. Also subscribe to the speedy diver. If you guys enjoyed tonight's episode. And with that being said, that freaked the heck out of me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.